create um, a little program about a triangle and we are going to have an object uh, of triangle and so let's create let's create a notepad plus plus in my box in my chapter three just a just a Java dot triangle dot Java file this is going to be our main object. So we're going to have class triangle. And let's, uh, what, do we, what do we know about our triangle? Well, we want to know the area. So let's say double area because uh, we want to use the double data type because uh, there may be decimal points. Then we want int height and we want int length. And we want we want a method. So let's have void set area. And let's just do something to set the area. We're going to say that the area is equal. Now remember, when we have a method, the method is going to do something with the attributes. The triangle has attributes. It has uh, things that describe it. The area describes the triangle, the height describes the triangle, and the length describes the triangle. And in order to come up with area, we have to create that uh, variable at the top, at the beginning of the class, at the beginning of this object that we're creating. That way, when we create this method, we have the variable ready to go as, as, a, as an attribute of the class. So we are going to say that the area, whoops, the area, I got too much going on, is set to our height times our length divided by 2. Uh, but let's see, I don't want to do it like that. I want the height times the length in parentheses and then divided by two. So that's the end of that one single method. And method. Remember, the method is doing something with an attribute. So there's our, sing our simple object, our simple triangle object. Now let's create a test class for it. So we're going to save as, we're going to call this triangle test.java. Save it and we have whoops um, pub, whoa, public class triangle test and end class. We are going to use our public static void main method with string array args in the parentheses and method main. Okay. Inside that execution statement we're going to create int x equals zero because we are going to use a while loop and x is going to be uh, our counter. And now we're going to create a triangle array. So we're going to use the, um, I guess what I should do is rip these apart so we could look at them side by side. If I can. There we go and right click this side by side. Okay, so I'm going to create an array of this triangle object. So we use the name triangle, triangle, and you use these straight brackets to indicate array. So triangle array TA for triangle array equals new triangle. Now how many elements do we want in here? Well, the book gives us four, so we're going to do four of them. Now we're going to do our while loop. 
while, while something is true, we're going to do something. And so then I'm going to end while loop, give myself that notation. Well, what is the condition that we want to be true? We want to make sure that as long as x is less than 4, we're going to do something. x starts off as 0. Remember, this triangle has four elements. So that's going to be TA0, TA1, TA2, TA3. We don't want to have a TA4 at all. So we want x to stay less than 4 because there's four elements that it's going to have the uh, biggest index being 3. So this will jump out of the loop once uh, it goes outside of the number of elements it's supposed to have. So why x is less than 4, our TA with whatever x is, not TX, our TA, which is our little abbreviation for this particular um, triangle array, TAX equals new triangle. And we do this um, empty parentheses because that means that for every iteration of whatever x is in this loop, we're going to set it to a new triangle object. If we don't do this, then we won't be able to use this with a dot operator to access any of this or even that. So this is the, very, the important very first step of make, making sure every element of this triangle array is actually an object of this triangle. Okay, so once we did that, we can say tax dot height equals, and we're just going to come up with some random expression, x plus 1. This doesn't have to, you know, this is just how we're going to come up with um, each of these. x plus 1 times 2 will be the height. And then we're going to do TA, whatever X is at the time. And to get our length, we're going to do another expression. We're going to use X, and we're going to add 4 to it. Then we're going to say TA, whatever X, whoops, whatever X still is, dot set area. We're going to call this method because we set a height and a length to uh, the zero index of this triangle. So basically this is how we're setting each element one at a time. The first loop is going to do TA0 and it's going to go back, back up here. Then it's going to do TA1 and back up here and then TA2 all the way to TA3 which is the last index of a triangle with four elements. Okay, so set area, and now we're going to use the system dot out dot print line to display. And we are going to say triangle, then we're going to say plus x, whatever the value of x is, which it's going to be, it's going to uh, say zero first and then a comma, area, I don't think I did that right, uh, plus x plus, right here, a comma, and then the word area, and then uh, area equals, only one of those triangle whatever area equals now we want to add the value of the t a whatever x is dot area okay I hope I typed that right then we're going to increment our counter, x equals x plus 1.
Now there's more code in here, but I'm going to run this first and see what happens. Because so we got this while loop here. And then we have something else uh, that I want to do after I run this. So let's run the command prompt. Let's go in the folder and copy the address of where the file is. CD space right click paste enter and now Java C triangle test.java enter. Okay, that compiled, so now let's see if it runs okay. Triangle test. What do we get? We have triangle 0, which means that's our first element. The air area is 4.0. Let's do the math and see how that works. Um, X being 0 means 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm going to put 2 and then length is uh, x plus 4, 0 plus 4 times 4 because our area, remember our area is height times length divided by 2. So we have 2 times 4 divided by 2. 2 times 4 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So our first area should be 4. And it is. Area equals 4.0. Let's do the next one. Um, we're going to up the x. So now x is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4 times, let's do the length, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 times 5 divided by 2, 20 divided by 2 equals 10, should be the area. So if we go back here, the next one is 10, so that was correct. Then when x is 1, uh, let's see, it started off at 0, then it was 1, now it's 2. 2 plus 1 is 3 times 2, so the first one is 6. And the length, uh, 0, 1, 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, so 6 times 6 divided by 2, 36 divided by 2 whoops, 36 divided by 2 is 18 so the third line should be 18 for the area and it is and so 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 We've done three of them, right? 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So you got 8 times 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 4 is 7 divided by 2. 6 times 7 is 42. 42 divided by 2. Twenty one. And let's see what the last one was. Oh, I did it wrong. It should be twenty eight. Let's see, what did I do wrong? X is first zero, X is zero, X is one, X is two, X is three, three plus one is four, four times two is eight. 
0, 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 8 times 7 divided by 2. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 divided by 2 is 28. So 28 should be the area, and 28 is the area. Okay, so I showed you how to use Notepad to actually uh, go over this Notepad and a calculator to go over this as you as the increments and as the values change. Um, so that when you actually see your output, you can't just, okay, say, okay, I don't have any errors, so that must be good. You still have to make sure the math is correct and that your formulas are correct. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, uh, that's how that particular system worked. So I'm going to exit out of here and exit out of the recorder.